I also want to throw in one other thing here, whenever we can, and try to give you a few more of these options and make this easier for you. I'm going to close my editor there. And I've got the global tracks open in this one here. Um, another place where I can go, close some stuff out, but I can control click right inside there and pick different ones. But I'm going to pick this new one called Arrangement. Now, they've always had one uh, called Markers that I've used a lot, which is a great way to sort of map out the session, right? And say, hey, this is going to be my first part or the second part or an intro and a verse and a chorus, things like that. Um, that's the way I like to work, especially when we get further, you're writing yourself, you know, okay, here's my verse, here's my chorus. You can jump to them to get right to the different spots you want when you're mixing. You can sort of cycle around these areas. But they've done something really cool with it. Besides having markers, now they've got this thing called arrangements where I turn off my cycle and go to the beginning. It knows that that's what we use markers for sometimes. So when I hit the little plus right here, it's going to go in and give me a thing called an intro. It says, yeah, you want a new spot here? You want to call it an intro? Excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with a little four bar intro in our song. And we'll have that be just drums. And maybe if we're going to put some other parts in here later, I'm going to move my cursor down. I'm going to do another one. And it's going to be a verse. OK, so our next section is going to be a verse. And in fact, what I'm going to do is double that. So it'll be a verse, but then maybe a verse that also picks up a little bit more afterwards. But it's still going to be a verse as far as I'm concerned. So it's going to click. And it's going to naturally think that I want to do a chorus. But now this is going to be sort of like a double verse, but I want, to want some different settings with it. So it's a verse still. Then we're going to get right into the chorus of a song. So it puts them in here, standard length, and then we can, of course, resize them any way that we want using the resize tool. Um, another thing we can do, and Mikey and I'll be right to you, um, is I like to color code stuff so I can see visually what I'm working with. So I'll click that, pick that color for the chorus, pick this color here. For my verse, pick a different color for this verse because it is a slightly different one. I could also rename it. And then my intro color here as well. Now I start to get a bunch of stuff up in there. Can shrink it down. So great. I have some organization. I can see a little bit better what's going on. But you might be asking me, maybe Mikey, this is what you're going to ask me. Travis, what do these markers have to do with the drummer track that you deleted all your drum stuff from? Because right now I don't have anything from my drummer. And that's kind of bumming me out. But what I get to do now is with an empty one, go back to that control click. And this is also the same thing if I'm building a new drummer track, like I've never had one, but I did have uh, these arrangement markers in here. Watch what happens. This is my favorite. I go in here and I can say populate with drummer regions. Now, if I don't have markers, it's just going to fill it with those normal uh, you know, eight bar sections as long as the song goes or as long as I have like a, a marker for it. But when I have arrangement markers in here, uh, what it's going to do is populate them, cut exactly to what I wanted. Which means if you've already worked out your song a little bit, you're a singer songwriter, maybe you've got a guitar and, and you're doing some vocals and you want just some drums to start playing with and you've mapped out your song, you can start playing. If you have a drummer you like, I just did a drum intro and then a verse and as it goes along, gives me my break halfway through that verse. And then it knows, hey, you're going to do a chorus. Most people like a little bit of a change there. Change up the percussion, change up the way it's playing. That's so cool. This is like jamming with a new drummer for the first time. And you're just going to let them do Like, OK, new song. OK, I'm going to go you know, a couple bars of this, eight bars of this, 16 bars of this. Do what you want. And they're listening to us, and they're playing along and doing those fills. That is so cool, the way that we can just quickly get a drum. Now, if I had a bunch of this stuff going, like I've mapped out a three-minute song, it would have filled that three-minute song with everything we have, including all the way to an outro or having a bridge with another part in there as well.